With your weather bug severe weather outlook, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mischik checking out the view over Arlington, Texas from our earlier this morning that coating of snow still hasn't gone anywhere and winter weather advisories, they're still in effect. It was a messy day yesterday and conditions will continue to remain quite treacherous for travel today as freezing rain remains a concern. But temperatures are rising and we actually have more spring-like conditions in the forecast with a thunderstorm threat on the way for early next week. So this wintry weather in not too long will feel like a distant memory. So if you're not quite crazy about that, uh, it will be changing soon. Here's a look at the bigger picture. That system pulls out of the southern plains, moves through the Ohio River Valley, some heavy snow anticipated in some of those areas, and then eventually out toward the northeast as we uh, wrap up the weekend. Showers, a few thunderstorms possible across portions of central and northern Florida today. Also tracking some wet uh, weather across the Four Corners region into northern Arizona and wet weather along the coasts of California. Winter weather advisories have been issued for all of these purple shaded areas and we even have a winter storm warning that has now been issued for the St. Louis area. This is where we're anticipating some of the higher snowfall totals. On the high end they could be up to around six inches, two to four inches on the southern edges of uh, these areas from southern Ohio into southern Indiana, but further towards central Illinois and into central Indiana, that's where we could see closer to that four to six inch mark and uh, closer to six inches in St. Louis as well. And uh, we could see precipitation, of course, stretching all the way back down through central Texas through the next 24 hours as well as precipitation impacting portions of the Four Corners region and down through the Atlantic coast of Florida. Check back to Weatherbug for additional severe weather updates.